All right, now it's six now, eyes to the sky. It's a hot topic, and now Rhode Island lawmakers are even debating drones around here. That's right, Gene. It's raising privacy issues. Under our proposed bill, police would be prohibited from using the unmanned aerial cameras without a proper warrant. And political reporter Bill Rapley is digging deeper tonight into why some are concerned. Bill? Well, Patricia and Gene, this would be the first step by Rhode Island to address a problem that has not yet arisen, but is bound to. Drones are all the rage. These unmanned Camera carrying helicopters are used by real estate companies, by firefighters, by hobbyists, and soon they'll inevitably be in demand by law enforcement. They're per going to be a pervasive technology. You know, if you look at the Federal Aviation Administration, they think there's going to be 30,000 in U.S. airspace by 2020, many of them being government drones. And our Supreme Court case law doesn't put restrictions on the use of drones or aerial aircraft above our, our homes. He has submitted a bill that would require any police use of drones to be authorized by a search warrant. So snooping would be directed and authorized and not just a general surveillance. The American Civil Liberties Union is supportive of putting restrictions on police use of these devices. They could follow you as you're walking around. They could watch you in your own house. They could um, watch your entire neighborhood. And at this point in time, there's nothing that says they have to have court oversight before they can do that. When it comes to private drone use, there are a number of laws preventing invasion of privacy that might cover the use of drones, but there's likely to be another bill addressing private drones. Meanwhile, Filippi wants to get something on the books. I'm trying to make sure there's a process in place that protects our privacy before uh, drones are used and the warrant requirement is that process. Now the bill's just getting its first committee hearing. We put in a call to state police but have not yet received a reaction from law enforcement as to their feelings about this bill. Another bill is also still being refined that would prevent drones from flying too close to TF Green Airport or Quonset airspace. Meanwhile, Massachusetts still working on similar legislation. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News in the newsroom.